great Tuesday evening, September 7th, 2021. To God be the glory for the closing of yet another beautiful day. Listen, you might feel like you have a smaller family as months and years are passing. I was talking to someone tonight at a family occasion, event, and they were describing how their family is just shrinking, shrinking smaller and smaller that's because so many of us are transitioning graduating to glory and we might not have this auntie any longer or your grandparents or your parents or even siblings but in proverbs 7 it says for us to keep the statutes of the lord and live and to remember bind them wherever you can and your fingers and verse four, remember, say unto wisdom, you might not have a natural sister, but thou art my sister. Wisdom is your sister. That means a close relative who would never leave you. Even if all of your kinfolk are gone. Another version of Proverbs 7, 4 says, say to wisdom again, you are my sibling and call understanding thy kinswoman. Give the name my relative to understanding. So you have a full family, even though it might be dwindling as the days and years go on. So you don't ever have to feel like you are alone. Now, later on in this chapter, it talks about how temptation comes about and someone was beholding someone, a young person who was void of understanding. It says in verse seven, I was looking at gullible people when I saw a young man without much sense among youths. But guess what? You can be a full-fledged grown adult who does not have sense, who does not have a sense of who they are and they are without without any type of discretion insight and foresight it says passing through the dark corner he went away or she went to such and so's house it was night in the twilight in the evening in the black and dark night and behold there met him or her a woman or a man a seductress or seducer and they were just talking about how she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face yeah just pretty much grabbed him and brazenly said I have some sacrifice meat just some goodies for you listen we have to make sure that we are fully vigilant and fully awake because we don't want to go into a path where it's just going to take you to a place of destruction and it says in verse 22 he goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the they don't understand to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks another version says he immediately follows her or she immediately follows him like a steer on its way to be killed like a ram hobbling into captivity until an arrow pierces his heart like a bird darting into a trap he does he does not realize or she does not realize that it will cost him or her their life so what we have to do is hold on that's why it says, keep the commandments of the Lord. Obey my commandments so that you may live. Follow my teachings just as you protect the pupil of your eye. <laughs> right? You don't let anything come inside your eye. You, you immediately close it. You shield. Well, that's the same thing. You have to shield yourself from temptation and the arrows of the enemy because they're coming. And you know that greater is he that is in you than that which is in the world, but you have to do your part. And the promise is, we will have gone to Psalms 47 tonight. Oh, clap your hands, 
all ye people, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. That means the voice of victory. You are already winner. You have everything that you need to overcome any temptation, anything out here. We must fear the Lord, the Most High. He is the great king of the whole earth. He brings people under the authority and puts nations under feet. He chooses our inheritance for us. Listen, make music for him. Make music to praise our king. That's what we should do in the meantime. God has gone up with a joyful shout because he has given us the victory. He has given us a way of escape in every situation. So we don't have to bow down to the enemy's ooh, plans and strategies. Flee. Remember, it says flee, escape as a roe or a gazelle. Run for your life. The Lord has given us a way of escape. So there's no reason to get weighed down out here. For you are a winner. And you can win any of the wiles of the enemy against those tricks. Thank you, Father, Lord, that you have made us aware of the snares that have been laid out for us, oh God, and you have paved a way for us to, to follow triumphant victory at all times, oh God. Thank you, Father, that you're so true, oh God, that we don't have to be fooled by anything out here, oh God, but we can keep our testimony, our light, our strength. So Lord, we look to you. We thank you, Father, that you are true, that you're an ever-present help. You are our past help and you are our future help but, uh, right now, God. You are a refuge, Father. So thank you, Lord, that we derive our strength from you. Give us good rest and refresh us in the morning for the new work that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.